mentioned before the break, a groom is in hot water after cropping his sister-in-law from his wedding picture. So here's the fuller story, okay? He explains on Reddit that she hated how she looked. So he thought he was helping. <laughs> but of course she blew up and told him he was trying to erase her from the memories of the day. Who's in the right, who's in the right? Let, let me ask this question. Was he wrong, Jen, to crop her out? From what I understand, she didn't like how she looked in the photos. So she said, don't post any pictures with me on social media. Yeah. So technically he's meeting the request. I would say this is larger than social media and larger mm. than wedding photos. I think there's something going on in that relationship yeah. with her as a sister and sister-in-law because she's upset either way. I know, I know. And she's mm -hmm. apparently, I think she felt like she was sweaty or I don't know what I mean, yes, to all weddings, we're all right? like, we're all we're a bit like, gross. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. If you're sweaty, get a fan and a blush. That's right. Paper. But also, if, if you can crop out, I don't know where she was. If she was on the end, it's another story. But if she was in the middle. She was on the end. She was on the end. Okay, well, still, I'm still going to say that if you have the time to crop somebody out, you have time to just do a little face tune. That costs money. Do, no, it, it costs doesn't necessarily. When you have, if it's with no. your professional photographer, it does cost extra. Okay. It does well, cost. maybe he asked her to pay, to pay for that. You know what, I'll say this much. I feel like weddings bring out the best and the worst in this people. This is true. And I think that for you to be more focused about what you look like in, a, in somebody else's wedding photo speaks volumes about you. And for you to be like, don't post. It's like, sorry, sister, you're going to have to get over this one. And then to be upset that he's like, okay, you don't want to be in it. I'm going to crop you. And then you're still upset. What's going to make you happy? She wants to be like... Facetune like Khloe yeah. Kardashian. Like, what? What's gonna make her happy? I really don't like this, but I do have a girlfriend. They were two best friends, and they, one of them got married, and the other one was a maid of honor. And in all the photos, she noticed that her best friend's teeth were not great. They're a little brown, and they were kind of scattered. And she was like, "Listen, it cost me a lot of money to retouch all of those photos, but you're my best friend. I didn't want to do you that way. But you got to get your teeth fixed because it's not cute." <laughs> you know, she got her teeth fixed. She got her teeth fixed because that's a. They have a level of friendship. But I will say this. Listen, it, it's an honor to be asked to be in somebody's bridal party. Mm -hmm. But I think you've got to go in saying yes with full consent and awareness of what you're saying yes to. And part of saying yes is you're going to wear an ugly dress with uncomfortable <laughs> shoes. You're going to be sweaty during the photos. It comes with a whole host and of things. And it's not about you. And it's not about you. But this, this woman should have maybe had the forethought to either say, do I really want to partake in this? I mean, maybe I'll forgive her if this was the first bridal party she's ever been part of. But if you're around enough weddings, you'll know it's a big lift. It's a big ask. She should have been able to either say, you know what? I can't hack it. It's going to be a lot. But it's also the spirit with which it's like, mm -hmm. it's not like she's coming to him saying, you know what? I really like, thank you so much. These photos, you're spending so much. You know, he didn't even have to tell the bridal party in advance that they were going to post. That was on him. He sent the photos to the bridal party and said, you guys okay with this? That was his you first You didn't mistake. even have to do that, bro. No one's yeah. looking at you know, her. They're yeah. looking at the bride. But this is what I'm saying. Like, she made it about really, her. Really, really, really bad. Is it that bad? Uh -huh. Maybe this is a symptom of all of this face tuning that we do and how we're always fixing our yep. own pictures now. Because now you we're all hyper aware of our nose and our angles and what side we're on and what our stomachs. We never thought about that when you had to take it to the developer, the that's right. photo <laughs> developer and wait a week to see those photos. And now we want everything to look perfect. If you didn't look perfect, you didn't look perfect. Laugh at yourself. It's not that big of a deal. It's not your wedding. You're not the bride. Where I understand the bride wants to look a certain way. You're a guest. Trust me, no one's looking at you. But there's always those exceptions. It's true. No it's you you. I don't know. When I was 16, I was in uh, a, a relative's wedding party, and it was the time where it was the most hideous dresses. Yep. It was like a really, really awful design, and we didn't have any choice in that. And then at the last minute, it was done by a seamstress. My bodice was uh, accidentally misplaced with another person who was much smaller. Oh. So at 16, I walked down this aisle with my boobs literally spilling out of this dress. Oh. And I this was before the age of social media. I would not have wanted to have those photos out there for myriad reasons. So occasionally, I think it might not be a diva move. It might just be like trying to just protect you. Yeah, know, let us be the judge of how much boob you have. All right. <laughs> I like how you're protecting your boobs even in telling the story. Wouldn't it be that exactly. bad? It's probably just fine. They're 16 year old boobs, they're in the right place. Wow. <laughs> Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.